Hi, I'm Donald McIntyre, Senior Editor at the ETC Cooperative. This is the ETC Proof of Work course, Class 36. Proof of Work is not what makes a blockchain unscalable. In the previous Class 35, we explained why Proof of Work POW blockchains must be attackable to be secure. We went over the way Proof of Work, proof of work works and how the bias of sub subjectivity could put at risk the consensus mechanism. It is, the, it is the format and security of proof of work based Nakamoto consensus that puts constraints to the amount of data that can be distributed across secure blockchains, thus their unscalability. This means that it is not, it is not the work in proof of work that makes blockchains unscalable. So in this class 36, we will explain the elements that make them limited in this dimension. What is scalability? Scalability means to process more transactions per unit of time. Bitcoin BTC processes from 7 to 14 transactions per second. Ethereum Classic ETC can process from 7 to 17 transactions per second. But Visa processes 24,000 transactions per second. This gap of proof of work POW blockchains with respect, with respect to the large traditional payment systems has made a lot of people worry about the lack of scalability in these networks and blame the work in proof of work for it. Many people think that proof of work is unscalable because it requires a lot of work. Therefore, it must process less transactions. However, proof of work is not the cause. The inefficiency is caused by the rule of full replication of the database in all nodes globally which requires smaller and slower blocks. Proof of stake POS and proof of work, proof of authority POA networks that require full replication have exactly the same inefficiency. Full replication is the culprit. In a truly secure proof of work blockchain, both transactions and blocks are fully retransmitted to all participating nodes in the system. This is done so that all can keep and maintain an identical copy of the whole database. This full replication of the database is the key security strategy of the blockchain model. The idea is to have all the accounts, balances, and smart contracts replicated in as many computers around the world as possible, so they may be as decentralized as possible and impossible to take down by man or natural events. However, full replication of databases, let alone ledgers with accounts, balances, and smart contracts, in a totally decentralized way was not possible before, making the systems insecure and dependent on trusted third parties. The solution to accomplish, to accomplish full replication globally in a totally decentralized way was the proof of work algorithm, which is a component of the Nakamoto consensus design. But proof of work is not what makes blockchains such as Bitcoin and Ethereum Classic unscalable. Full replication globally is the reason these networks have a cap of transactions they can process per day. This is why Ethereum moved to proof of stake but is still unscalable. Any truly decentralized blockchain must be unscalable. Any truly decentralized proof of work blockchain will have to be unscalable. The Nakamoto consensus design specifies that all data must be replicated in all nodes and all nodes must hold exactly the same copy of the database. This puts a physical constraint in the size and frequency of blocks to ensure full propagation and synchronicity of all the nodes globally. Restricted size and frequency of blocks means a limited amount of transactions will, will fit per block, thus making these systems unscalable. It is important to understand that proof of work can process any size of block at any frequency. It is because of restrictions in retransmission and full replication, not proof of work, that blocks must be small and less frequent. How does full replication and not proof of work restrict scalability? Below we list, we list several reasons why blocks must be small and less frequent in fully replicated networks, therefore produce less transactions per second. 1. Bloating. If blocks were larger and faster, then the database would grow larger very quickly and that would put pressure on node operators who have to keep up with sufficient computational storage to maintain their nodes. This would reduce the number of nodes in the chain and, in and increase centralization. It will also go against common principles in the industry which are to run your own node and verify everything, as people would prefer to use third-party nodes rather than their own. 2. Technical. 
Related to bloating and centralization, the technical reasons why larger and faster blocks would be disadvantageous are that they would require higher bandwidth, thus limiting the areas in the world and kinds of operators who could process the data. They would require more powerful CPUs for validating the blocks, large data centers with big bandwidth, limiting the reach to operators with more capacity. And the initial blockchain download time, IBD, for new entrants or re-entrants would be very long, creating an additional barrier to participating in the system. 3. Minor economics. As the monetary policy in Bitcoin and ETC is decreasing and capped, miners will depend on fee revenues in the future. If blocks were larger and faster, then transaction fees would be lower. With scarce block space and low frequency, then fees will be higher, thus fi financing the security that miners provide to these networks with their hashing power. 4. Block Propagation if blocks were larger, block propagation would be slower. This would benefit the larger, well-geographically positioned miners in the world and eliminate the smaller miners in, in, in remote areas from the network and would make mining centralized. Layer 2 systems can make proof-of-work scalable. The solution to scalability is either to build Layer 2 systems that may process more transactions, net them out and then settle them at the proof-of-work base layer or for users just to pay higher fees if they wish to use the security of proof-of-work blockchains. Examples of layer 2 systems that may make Bitcoin and ETC more scalable are channel payment systems such as Lightning Network, regular centralized apps that settle on proof-of-work blockchains such as centralized exchanges, and layer 2 decentralized networks that use proofs to anchor their systems on the same layer on the base layer proof of work blockchain such as Polygon and BitVM. Thank you for watching this video, ETC proof of work course, class 36. Proof of work is not what makes a blockchain unscalable. To learn more about Ethereum Classic, please go to ethereumclassic.org. Thank you very much.